Eight Money Moves to a Million Dollars, the primary focus of this channel is to teach how to use your present financial resources to help you increase your net worth. 1. Develop a wealth building plan. Develop a plan to reach the goal of zero mean million dollars. This plan major goal is to reach 500,000. This goal is a 10 to 15 year goal. The first step is to earn enough money to cover your basic needs with some leftover for saving. The second step is to manage your spending so that you can maximize your savings. The third step is to invest your money in a variety of different assets so that it's properly diversified for the long haul. Two, invest in yourself what you enjoy. You will perform better, build a longer lasting career, and be more likely to succeed financially by doing something that you enjoy and find meaningful. In fact, one study found that more than 9 out of 10 workers said they would trade a percentage of their lifetime earnings for greater meaning at work on what are you good at. Look at what you do well and how you can use those talents to earn a living. What will pay well? Look at careers using what you enjoy and do well that will meet your financial expectations. One good source of salary information, as well as the growth prospects for various fields, is the Annual Occupational Outlook Handbook, published by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. How do you get there? Learn about the education, training, and experience requirements needed to pursue your chosen career options. The Occupational Outlook Handbook has information on this too. 3. Buy your own home. The market will change from year to year, but yet there is no such thing as new land being developed. So the wealth in this forced saving plan called a mortgage will help with two things develop wealth and improve your credit with on-time payments. For many people, this will be the biggest asset you will own. Buy a home can seem like a daunting process. It just may be the most expensive and emotionally charged purchase of your life. Here are some basic questions to consider when thinking about buying a home. How long do you plan to stay there? If you expect to relocate in just a couple of years, renting is likely a better option. How much home can you afford? If you can't afford a home large enough to fit your family in a few years, it may be worth it to rent while you save a bit more. What's on the market? If you can't find a home you like, it's likely not worth tying yourself to something you're unhappy with. Another factor to consider, the current housing market is one of the most competitive in decades, with record high prices and record low inventory. That means buyers should be prepared to make multiple offers and be aware that they may have to pay more than a home is listed for, sometimes thousands of dollars more, in order to get their offer approved. 4. Start to invest in the stock market. The stock market has provided an average return of 10%. According to his math, since 1949, S&P 500 investments have doubled 10 times, or an average of about 7 years each time. In some cases, like 1952 to 1955 or 1995 to 1998, the value of the investment doubled in only 3 years. The best thing to do is to learn and understand how to select, invest, and maintain a portfolio of stocks and mutual funds. A rising stock market is often the reason for buying stocks, while a falling stock market scares some people away. Neither reason is valid for starting to invest or for stopping. Hoes who have lived through the stock market's up and down cycles have learned that time in the market is key and can produce rewarding returns, while timing the market by trying to calculate the right time to buy and sell is a fool's errand. When depreciated share prices abound, opportunity is ripe for individuals who have been meaning to learn about stocks to become better investors. But highly valued share prices shouldn't be a deterrent since they can continue to increase in value over the long term. Access to the stock market has never been quicker or simpler. A variety of smartphone apps allow consumers to quickly get started. Microinvesting is a term conceived to cover the deployment of small amounts of cash. In addition, most brokerages operate online websites with copious opportunities for instruction. Newcomers or those who have dabbled in stocks, or equities as pros call them, ought to pause to consider their financial goals before committing to invest. Depositing money in a bank savings account offers safety, convenience, and a relatively low interest rate. At the current rates, decades would pass before $100 would be worth $200. Not the best way to generate funds to pay for a college education or retirement. If the purpose of investing is to grow a small nest egg into a large one, the current interest rates paid by banks won't come close to doing the trick. Buying cryptocurrencies or fractional shares of volatile stocks that started life as special purpose acquisition companies, SPACs, might score a quick win, but more likely you'll lose all or some of your money. The best opportunity for long-term growth remains the stock market, with an emphasis on established, good quality companies, 
a sound piece of advice that brings with it several stipulations and qualifiers. The evidence for this opinion is remarkable. Over the past 50 years, the compound annualized growth rate, CAGR, for the stock market, meaning all stocks, has been nearly 11%, including dividends paid. Which means that $100 invested wisely in the stock market could well grow to $200 or more in about seven years, assuming the average 11% CAGR during that period. What are the mysterious stipulations and qualifiers? The first is to ignore the general direction of the market at any given time. Sure, buying low and selling high is ubiquitous conventional wisdom, though more or less pointless for long-term investors. Trying to guess whether a rising market will keep rising or whether a falling market will keep plunging has proven to be a fool's game. A much better idea is to keep in mind the long-term trend over recent decades of major stock market indices, such as the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ Composite, all three of which over years and decades have risen. Identifying companies in those indexes that are leaders in their respective industries and exemplify excellence in management can make for solid investments and lead to fruitful outcomes. Remember this, don't try to time the market. Instead, spend time in the market. Spending time in the market naturally helps avoid trying to time the market and enables investors to make consistent, regular purchases of common shares regardless of what the overall market is doing. By investing a consistent amount of money into a company's stock over time, $50 a month, let's say, investors assure themselves of buying shares at advantageous prices, assuming the stock increases in price over time. This technique, called dollar cost averaging, is easier than ever to carry out, even for those stocks selling for relatively high per share amounts. As purchasing fractional shares of a stock is common practice, dollar cost averaging with even small amounts of money makes entry into investing in the stock market easier than ever. A second key stipulation to successful investing is diversification. A good option is to begin a regimen of establishing a portfolio of 10 to 20 high-quality companies. Do this using a long-term, fundamental approach that focuses on investing in a variety of different sized companies in varying sectors and industries. This will provide sufficient diversification in your portfolio. If you're already managing a portfolio of stocks, you may want to add to your portfolio. Another method of diversification is to invest in a mutual fund or ETF, exchange-traded fund, based on indices like the S&P 500, meaning that your investment will be divided proportionally into small investments in the stocks held by the fund or those comprising the index. Selecting individual companies should be an exercise in choosing high-quality growth stocks that have a record of consistent growth in revenue, profit, and, if relevant, dividend payment. Look for growth rates that outpace the competition and are faster than inflation or the overall economy. Understanding when such stocks are selling at a favorable price is key. To know more about the methodology of recognizing high-quality growth companies and what constitutes a reasonable price, please explore the Better Investing website for an explanation of online analytic tools and how to access instructional videos. Remember, some companies will pay dividends and automatically reinvest them upon request into additional shares of stock. Some companies use their profit to grow their sales or operations rather than to distribute dividends. Investors should understand the difference. It is important to reinvest all distributions, dividends and capital gains from successful stock sales into additional stock purchases. This is of critical importance for investors who want to take full advantage of compounding every investor's friend. The stock market contains a rapidly expanding universe of ideas, theories, and principles. Some are worth knowing, others are to be avoided. Never stop paying attention to economic and financial news, practicing skills, listening for novel ideas, and watching for opportunities. By applying a consistent, long-term approach to investing in stocks, like Better Investing has taught for 70 years, investors can be assured they are properly positioned to grow their assets and improve their financial well-being. 5. Ensure yourself you can't overlook things like life insurance, auto insurance, renters, and homeowners insurance, but what can be most customary rate to you is becoming disabled with the inability to know being able to work. So disability insurance becomes very important to your plan. It is important to protect yourself against the risk of something bad happening by planning or preparing. 6. Start a business. Starting a business is an important stage in the financial plan. Making a financial goal to be wealthy has to include a business. Very few people become rich working 9 to 5. Most fortunes are made by small business. A. Conduct market research. 
Market research will tell you if there's an opportunity to turn your idea into a successful business. B. You write your business plan. C. Fund your business. D. Pick your business location. E. Choose a business structure. F. Choose your business name. G. Register your business. K. Get federal and state tax IDs. I. Apply for licenses and permits. J. Open a business bank account. 7. Develop your intellectual property patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets are valuable assets of the company and understanding how they work and how they are created is critical to knowing how to protect them. People have skills they use for others, but they don't make any money from them. You may have a book in your mind or idea that can be turned into a monetized outlet for your wealth plan. 8. Improve your credit. Credit will determine how much you may pay for things or what things you can purchase with credit. 1. Pay credit card balances strategically. 2. Ask for higher credit limits. 3. Become an authorized user. 4. Pay bills on time. 5. Dispute credit report errors. 6. Deal with collections accounts. 7. Use a secured credit card. 8. Get credit for rent and utility payments. 9. Add to your credit mix.